Hi everyone, it's Nicole. This week we've reached 500 subscribers. You guys are amazing and I just wanted to say thank you for all your engagement and support. If you do follow one of my tutorials, be sure to leave a comment and tag me on Twitter. I'll be putting out videos each week, so if you haven't already, press the subscribe button to stay updated with new videos. Alright, let's get started. Today we'll be creating an interactive choice board using Google Slides. The choice board here is for a project where students are given a set of instructions here on the top and then they go ahead and choose one of the following modes of delivery. For example, students can choose to design a game and inside the cell there are also some suggestions on tools that students can use as well as ideas to get them started. I do recommend that you create your choice board using slides or docs because it allows you to hyperlink any relevant resources. For example, students can go ahead and click on Scratch here. The choice board is very versatile and can be adapted to any key learning area as well as in your everyday lesson. For example, you can have mini tasks in each of these cells and then ask students to complete three in a row like tic-tac-toe. If you do choose to use your choice board for a project, I recommend that you attach a rubric as well to set the expectations of what the project needs to look like. We have some success criteria here on the first column and then marks allocated as well and a comment section and a grand total here on the bottom. Let's get started with creating our choice board. The first thing we'll do is create a new slide. We'll change the title to project choice board. You can just write choice board if that's what you're doing. And I'll have project on the first line and choice board on the second line. We're going to get rid of that second text box and change the font. I'm going to make it bold, center align, and maybe make it a little bit smaller. I think I also had it on a bit of a slant as well. Okay, I'm also going to insert a box for the back, so a rectangle. This is going to go behind my text. I want a transparent border. You can kind of see how that sits, maybe a little bit more slanted. And then we're going to arrange it so that it sits behind the text. So they center the back. And just play around with it. Also going to change the color of my font as well. Something like that is fine. Okay. I also had a text box here for instructions. So just have a text box like this and have the font the same. Hold it instructions. And I'll have a copy to this um, Google Slides as well in the link below. So you can download this for yourself. So we're going to just underline that. Okay. Now it's time to create the grid. So we're going to insert and go for a table. What I like about this table is you can just make it as large as you want. Okay, we're going to go three by three. Okay, Don't worry about sizing it correctly now because once you put the instructions in, it might actually adjust the sizes of your cells. So we'll just have this for now. Highlight all the boxes and we're going to be just changing the fill. So let's change it to a nice color. And I also changed the border color to white and I make it quite thick. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. And then you can also go ahead and change the individual cell colors so that each of the options stand out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Was the same one. Can't remember what I have and haven't chosen it. Um, maybe. Oh, lucky. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We just put it all the way to the edge. Usually I have quite a bit to right in there as well. Okay. Oops. Make it a little bit larger here as well. Okay, that looks pretty good. You can then add any bitmojis that you like. I tend to go for the bitmojis with the circle background, so you can type circle for that. You do need to have the bitmoji Chrome extension for this. So then it kind of looks like a sticker. So for the project, let's just go for this one. You can just double click to, um, oh no, you need to drag and drop, I think. Or you can right click, 
And I'll just put this over here. Just personalizes the project a little bit. Okay, and then let's write a set of instructions here. So let's say we're just going for a template. So I'm not going to put all the options here. Not option one, just option one, it's fine. And then we'll have suggestions. We can do, and then we also had bullets as well and ideas that students can do. And let's go ahead and change the font of this. Okay, that's pretty good. What we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this template into all the different cells. So once we've got this one correct, all the other ones will be fine. Let's make this stand out a little bit. Suggestions, that's fine. Might want to make this a little bit smaller. Cool. And then, like I said, we'll just copy and paste it into the other cells. So we'll have option two, three, Nine. Okay. Oops. I also had some bullets here as well. So if you want to add some bullets to your instructions, I went for the star. You can do the same as well. Okay. Let's say you want to go ahead and fill out one of these options. Let's do that. For example. So for example, we can do um, design and animation, and then suggestions can be. Um, Use scratch code.org. You can see actually, I just realized I didn't get all the right size for this. So let's say we're going for a theme. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that for now, I guess. And then we can hyperlink any of these. So here I've got Scratch. I'm just going to copy the URL, right click for text, and apply it. I've got code.org as well here. Don't need the courses, but just code.org. And linking is right clicking. Okay, sign an animation, or you can use stop motion animation you can also go for some sort of picture as well in this case let's go for search um image search from the web scratch there we go okay i think you double click this yep i also like to hyperlink the images as well in case students want to go ahead and press on those ones so here i've got scratch or maybe you can put it in the middle if you like and then using the same link i'm just going to hyperlink that for images you do need to go to insert link and then press paste so once you're happy with that you can embed your slides into your google classroom or you can put it into your class site if it's on Wix or it's on Google Sites. Um, I'm going to embed mine into Google Sites, the one that we created in the last video. And if you haven't seen that yet, I'll put it in the description box for you. So let's go to the site that we made last time. We're going to go to Pages and insert a new page. Okay, so we're going to call this one um, Project Choice Four. Okay. And we'll just put it at the very last position. We're going to insert, and it's a slide. Just so I can show you how this looks, this is a choice board. Double click to put that in. I'm just gonna exit that and make it quite large. All right. So I do like having slides inside of sites because all of these links become clickable. Let's say that you want students to also be able to download these slides. I would maybe create a force, make a copy. Um, 
how to do that, let's go ahead and share. So we're gonna do a force copy. And anyone with these links can view. Yep, that's fine. Let's just go to and take a look at what that looks like. To do a force copy, you just need to grab all the stuff that's near the edit position or and onwards, and we're gonna write copy. Okay, so that's forcing a copy from any of the users. Okay, so we're going to press enter and then it will lead you to this. So anybody who gets this link will get a copy of this in their Google Slides. We're going to put this in here as well. So let's make a button. Make a copy of the project choice. Use your link and insert it in. Okay, let's put it somewhere here. Make sure that you can see all the text. Okay, and if you like, you can also go ahead and put a Bitmoji as well to point out the cool button that you have now. I'm gonna right click, copy, control V to paste, or however you paste. And I'm going to make this smaller and point to the button. Okay, so I think that's quite cute as well. I'm going to publish and then I'll show you how that looks as well. Just going to go to the site now. Cool, so here we are on the project choice board and any of these links students can just go ahead and click into. And if they want to do a copy as well, they can go ahead and do that. Um, another thing that I want to mention as well for the project rubric, I created it in the same manner. I also have another table up here as well. So let's show you that. Yep, so this is a table as well. And I just filled these two cells here to make it look like um, a position where students can fill that in or you can fill that in. And I also merged some cells together for the comment section. So to merge, you just highlight any of the boxes that you want to just make one box, right click, and then there's a button for merging. So it's the same um, manner in which we created the project choice board. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you got some ideas on how to use Google Slides to create your own choice board. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to Class Notes for more videos like this in the future. I'll have a link to my Google Slides for you to download in the description box below as well. Until next week, see you later and have a good day. Bye.